Hey guys, welcome back to the Board Game Bar. This week we are playing Fog of Love, a story about two star-crossed lovers. So we thought we'd go a little bit of a more romantic, more pinky sort of theme with the colours. First thing we're going to get is strawberry and pepper infused gin. So to do this, we just cut up some strawberries, put them in some gin, left it for two days, and then it gets this really nice pretty colour, adds a bit of flavour to it as well. But it's, if you don't have that, you can buy sort of a normal rosé gin, any sort of strawberry gin. You can just use normal gin and use a strawberry syrup if that's what you've got, make do. We're going to use two shots of this. Next, we are going to get some egg white. Um, if you're vegan or allergic to eggs, feel free to use uh, aquafaba or any other sort of substitute. This is more for the froth. If you don't have egg just because you don't like it or you think it's weird, grow up, you'll be fine. So it's gonna crack it, separate. We just want the egg white. So we're gonna just strain that out, keep the yolk, and there we go. Okay, so now we're going to get back on with our ingredients. We're going to get lemon juice. Normally for a sour, you'd use about 30 mils of lemon juice, but the syrup we're using today is quite sour already, so I'm dialing that down to 15. So if you're making it with your own normal sort of sugar syrup, then 30 lemon, 15 sugar. This time we're doing 15 of the lemon juice. And then we've got from Peninsula Boulevard, who are local, so we got this from these guys down at the local market. Really nice syrups, but they're not so sweet they've got a little bit more sourness to them and we really want to taste this because it's a really cool syrup so we're going to do 30 ml of this but again feel free to dial it up or down depending on what you're using okay the last thing we are going to add is angostura bitters and we're just going to do a small dash of that and then we'll use a little bit more as part of our garnish so because we're using egg white we need this to emulsify so we're going to add our egg white in, and then we're going to do what's called a dry shake. So this means you shake it without ice first, and that's just basically going to help the egg white get frothy. It's going to help it all mix in together. Well, it gives us that, that end look of it being real frothy, real pretty looking, and that's what we're all about. And you'll be able to hear it. You can sort of hear it getting frothier. So once that's done, we crack it open. Pour this in, you can see there, it's got all that sort of froth coming through. So that's gonna end up sitting on top of our drink. Now we get our ice, add this in, and we shake again. So pour the small one into the big one if you're using a Boston shaker like me. Right. Seal it, I'm gonna shake. Once it's done, to break these, if you're using one of these, just go a bit off the center, give it a smack, and it should just pop right off. And you see it's still nice and frothy. We're gonna get our glass. We're using a coupe, really good for any sort of sours. And we're going to double strain, just to make sure that no shards of ice get in. And you'll see that as it starts to settle, all that froth will come to the top and the drink will sort of sit below. You can give this sort of a bit of a tap, get all that froth coming out. All right, so to finish this one off for our garnish, we're gonna get our bitters back, and we're just gonna put some little drops. And then we're gonna get a little toothpick, and we're just gonna run it through them, and they should almost end up looking a little bit like some little hearts. And that is our strawberry gin sour for Fog of Love. So let's give it a taste. All let's right. see what we think. You're gonna have to take a pretty big sip of this one to taste it, because otherwise you're just gonna get the froth. So make sure you are getting some of that liquid in there. Yeah, it's um... Ooh, you definitely get that citrus at the front. It's mostly yeah. in my beard, isn't it? Uh, that's actually not too bad. Not too bad? Not too okay. bad. It's very light. It's a lot lighter than I think thought it would yeah. be. I think with the syrup, we probably could play with the ratio a bit. A little bit more sweetness probably wouldn't hurt this drink. Yep. Just because, again, if you're using a normal sugar syrup, you'll probably be fine. But it's quite refreshing. It's very 
very cool, very light. It's not too strong on the strawberry flavor. If you, again, want to use more of a strawberry syrup to get more strawberry flavor in, you can do that too. You get, you get that hit of strawberry at the start. It's like that, that pucker of strawberry. Then it goes into the pucker of lemon. Um, and then you get this long kind of holding of sweetness. Mm. So, All in all, though, it's a great drink. Thanks for joining us at the Board Game Bar, where we made a drink for Fog of Love. Make sure you actually check out the Teach where we explain how to play Fog of Love and you can look at our socials where we'll be playing this live on Twitch. Also, our VOD will be here where you can watch us after we've played it and join us drinking the Strawberry Gin Sour while we play Fog of Love. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, Bye. Guys. See ya.